and or I should say like early Christian colonization. That ba ba like that's basically just the same shit that happened in Canada with oh, the yeah. First Nations, like quote unquote kill kill the quote unquote Indian save the man bullshit. Mm -hmm. Still don't understand why Canada thought that they were better with indigenous people than the United States. Like, we come from the same fucking roots. We did the same shit. Well, no. You're just you better at hiding it. No, actually, that's the thing. They, uh, the reason, like, there is a genuine nugget of truth as to why they were better with indigenous people than the States. Because the United States folks, basically, instead of doing eugenics, just outright killed the vast majority of natives. Mm. Like, what what people here did was just put a gun to their heads and fire. What the Canadians did was put a gun to their heads and then force them to pick up a Bible. No, okay, you know what I fucking hate is people that are like, oh, the reason that the Europeans were so much better than the indigenous people is because we were more advanced. They had guns, yes. They were not more advanced for the landscape. They were not prepared, they had no idea what the fuck the landscape was. They wore really heavy clothing for a climate that did not need heavy clothing. And the only reason that they got as far as they got is because of the fact that they brought disease and they would use biological yeah. fucking bio warfare against people that were not prepared for such disease and such uncleanliness. That's well, why it's to been be, banned. Well, to be clear, um, at the very least in the case of the smallpox blankets, there's mm -hmm. basically only one historical point of reference that we have that like confirms that it happened. Granted, I don't know much about like other sources than that basically we have an invoice where like a particular i think i think it was french battalion commander basically just asked their uh their infirmary to give him like a handful of smallpox blankets to hand out to the natives but like you are ultimately right like like if i remember correctly approximately uh, oh, I think the estimates were between 70 and 90% of natives that existed here pre-contact ended up fucking dead as a result of stuff like smallpox. Yeah. I, it's it's just like, while, while uh, colonizers using bioterrorism, well, not bio biological warfare, that's the term, that did happen it just seems like it was extremely sparse and for the most part they were just spreading diseases that the natives bodies couldn't handle mm -hmm. like just by coming there yeah there's actually one thing that i found fucked up when i was uh learning about indigenous people history, history in school mm -hmm. was when uh, with the aztecs when the spanish came over they actually thought it was their god coming and then they were mm -hmm. massacred were enslaved yeah <laughs> that was really yeah. fucked up they they yeah, yeah. <laughs> fucking uh yeah <laughs> colonizers were like the ultimate invasive species you're not yeah. wrong no no not only that not only they were colonizers themselves were invasive species but they also brought invasive species well, Which also, it's, again, yeah. fucked over a lot of areas. At the same time, I think it's important to understand that it's less that they were invasive species and more that they were invasive. invading people. Yeah, like, in, literally species. invasive. They were they, just they were invasive. The, they were the same species, but yeah, they did bring over a shit ton of, of invasive species. Like, when we actually get down to it, all humans were invasive species at some point. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, even the natives would have been invasive species at a time, and Ultimately, early early settlers in the Americas are the primary reason why a lot of really cool Ice Age animals are extinct. Yeah. Like the ground sloths and mastodons. Yeah. Yeah. But, like, this is obviously not to say that they, that, 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 that those damn engines deserved it. Wait, I think that's a slur. I shouldn't say that. I just realized. 
But... Yeah. <laughs> I don't think yeah. Omar did it on stream. I, I don't, I don't know I if it's a slur or just a derogatory it's... term in the co in specific context, because it is used yeah. in certain bills. Uh, it is used in certain bills, so it is. It, it depends on the context. Yeah. And I'm, also, I'm, it's also it, like it, an actual it, race of people are Indians, and then there's native people. Which, no, as a child, because that when I was growing up, they would also c always call native people that. And I, growing up, I was like, wait, how the fuck? That does not make any sense. That is, that is, that makes no sense. Just, just there's just, people from India that are actually in Indians. Why listen, the fuck would you call native people that? That listen, they're not from I'm India. Just trying to say something. Listen, listen. Mm -hmm. You can't, can't talk about that. We don't want to discredit Columbus, okay? No, fuck the him. No, 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 founding... no, no, no. <laughs> I no, know no, I'm no. joking. No, no, no. Listen, listen. The thing is, you know the people that started the Spanish Inquisition? Those people? Yeah? You, the yeah. Queen and King? Yeah? They thought the shit that Columbus did was so fucked up. They literally stripped him of his rank. They stripped him of fucking everything. They thought what he did was fucking disgusting. Yeah. The you point, know, you know when the people that started the Spanish fucking Inquisition thought that you were fucking evil. You fucked up. Yeah, were... like... Oh, uh, yeah, that's one thing that I commonly forget about because... Uh, oh, I'm surrounded by conservative dipshits out here. Yeah, the... Like... That, that is a very good way to sum it up. Columbus was such a absolute monster that... The people who actively uh, thought out the elimination of Jews and Muslims in a, like, witch hunt style persecution thought that he was fucked up. Like, something like that, that's just like a new level of what the fuck. And the thing is, no one ever teaches about it. And it's like, it's a very, like, obvious thing. You don't even have to look that hard for it. And it's yeah. like, I, ugh. The American and education system it. is still whitewashed. Yeah. So no. whitewashed. It, it literally is, because I literally got in an argument with my history teacher saying, yeah, did, the Europeans didn't have that much of an advantage over the native people. They were just really fucking diseased. And oh. she was like, that's wrong. They had guns. And I'm like, you mean the slow ass things that took forever to reload compared to a bow and arrow, which didn't? You mean yeah, that? They, they were, uh, ultimately the biggest thing that helped, uh, the invaders in that case was actually their armor, but it was still heavily impractical depending on where you were on the continent. Especially in Florida, which yeah. oh, the Spaniards God. didn't understand, apparently. I, I'll still always, my, I still, like, my favorite joke that I told to my history teacher that she cracked up at. Mm -hmm. was, I think I've told it here before, that it's really ironic when they first got here, the Spaniards looked for the Fountain of Youth in Florida. Mm -hmm. Now it's where all our old people go to die. Yeah. yeah. Also, or get thing. STDs. Yeah. The thing I want to say about Christopher Columbus, when I was 10 years old, uh, I only liked reading, like, m manga and cartoon books. Mm-hmm. So, I thought I saw this book for Christopher Columbus, it, it, Adventures. I was like, okay, so this is probably just some childish thing. No, it showed oh, no. everything in grand detail. What? Oh no! <laughs> Every little thing. Every illustration done. Uh, okay, look, th this is fucked up because we got a traumatized bright, but I think that was going to be inevitable anyway. Uh, uh, but besides that, at the very least, that experience obviously uh, kind of inoculated you. Uh, ironically enough, while we're talking about diseases, it seems to have also kind of inoculated you to some of the whitewashing bullshit. Yeah, it was also that uh American uh, education system does. Yeah, it was also how I learned uh how babies were made. Oh god, oh, god. oh, oh no. no. Yeah, they oh, showed no. that That's too. True. They showed that, that too. That should not be your sex ed class. <laughs> <laughs> oh 
Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like I Sex said, they showed wow. everything. Sex education with Christopher Columbus. <laughs> oh, God. No, don't let him near the manatee. What is he doing to the manatee? No! Yeah, I still can't believe those stupid fucks thought the manatee was a fucking mermaid. I... <laughs> Columbus was my sex teacher, says book <laughs> My yeah, sex you know had maybe, teacher was a librarian. You know what? Actually, actually, you know what? Let's be fair. Mm -hmm. Let's be fair. Maybe this is why conservatives are so scared of sex ed. Because <laughs> they got sex ed from Columbus. And they don't want their kids going through this. <laughs> <laughs> they don't wanna they don't, don't wanna they don't want their kids to know what, what Columbus wanted to do to the manatee. <laughs> oh no, I saw a picture of that too. Oh god. Wait, wait, back up. Did Columbus actually? I don't know if he actually did, but I saw a picture of it. I'm actually, if I yeah, remember, Mom. Wait, I think, Sorry. I think it might have been hepatitis. It's a, it's one of the STIs that has an H in it. Uh, but that was because someone did it with a llama. So that's fun. I mean, I wouldn't I'm... doubt it. Mom yelling at me that I'm being too loud uh, because I'm laughing my ass off. I mean, I wouldn't doubt that he did it with a manatee. I mean, yeah. Okay, yeah. I seriously do not understand how those guys looked at that goddamn gray blob, that adorable gray blob, and were like, yeah, I'm gonna fuck this because it looks like the of hot dragon. Okay, yeah, we should probably steer away from this conversation at this point. Oh, God. Colonizers are stupid as fuck. Uh. <laughs> or were stupid as fuck because they are all... Well, mm, no, there are still people that peddle colonistic ide ideology. But uh, the motherfuckers we're talking about are all dead, thankfully. Yeah. The... Because manatees are majestic. Says book I, thought... I thought it was a really good little bit um that ocean cal toy said during a conversation kind of generally talking about uh how biases can affect narratives and perspectives mm -hmm. and kind of like for instance bringing up the fact that as much as like anti-theists and like like guys who are obsessed with science want to act like science does not have any bias it does science, science the, has biases yeah the I mean, the process doesn't have biases. Like, the process is very good at, at, generally speaking, weeding out a lot of the biases that arise within humans, because obvious, uh, obvious humans are going to be biased. Mm -hmm. But what gets studied, what actually gets funding, that's a bias. bias. Yeah, like, yeah. like, people aren't, like, our government isn't shoving funds into just every scientific project that might expand human knowledge, even if, like, ultimately, I think that that would actually be a pretty decent thing. Mm -hmm. Like, like for instance, like, a good example of this is paleontology, almost completely privately funded. There's almost no uh, subsidies going into that field because it's not a very practical field to helping people in the modern day. But you know what it is practical for? Learning about these crazy ass fucking reptiles that used to live here, hell yeah. And another example that Ocean brought up is um, one of the ways that uh, this affected coloni colonizers is because um, from their perspective, like from their perspective, the ways that natives treated a lot of things like farming, they viewed as inferior and inefficient, because from their perspective, one that was entirely focused on trying to figure out how much of a crop we have, having these like little backyard gardens with a little bit of everything in the same area, is it seems unproductive. But these people weren't trying to make a profit off of their crops. They were subsistence farmers. And for subsistence farmers, having 
every little thing that you want that you might want in a dish in just one little patch is significantly more effective than having a whole ass wheat field when you might want corn. Mm -hmm. Okay, patch it. I yeah. decided to look up the Christopher Columbus humanity thing. It's 50 50. Uh. God. Oh god. Oh. I am kind of terrified the fact that it's 50-50. Chris. But like some people are saying he did. Some people are saying he did, some people are saying they just found it. So it's 50-50. I'm just pretty sure either way he still found manatees to be like mermaids and thus he found them attractive. Which is they are gray little blob boys that float in the ocean and eat dirt. Not dirt, grass. Sea grass, but like then that means his wife. Boys. That means his wife must be one hell of a cow. That is so mean. <laughs> oh, oh, shame on you. <laughs> I'm sorry. Actually, how many people here know what a manatee looks like? Like, has looked at a manatee I've recently? I've seen a manatee. I've seen one in real life. I've got a www.quora.com link, and the question is, did Christopher Columbus personally have certain relations with a manatee? I don't know why. They're so gray and they're so blobby, and it's like, why would you do that to them? It's okay. Okay, we have one article that's just so, um, the S word with mermaids. What does, how does that work? That is a good question. That Yeah, that actually is, like, an interesting question, because, like, do they just, like, if they function like fish... Do they, they like... And, eggs? Oh, God. Yeah, like, unless they're sharks, they they would probably be laying eggs. Oh, God. That, that lends to some terrifying things about Ariel. Oh, God. Oh, and the fact God. that she, she canonically has a child. One. So I'm guessing more of like a shark life birth because she has one mm. child. Yeah, if she had, means... yeah, then unless unless that uh. prince motherfucker only fertilized one egg somehow. Let's just. We need I don't to want. Stop this. Oh God, Let's this stop. is Let's... terrifying. You know I don't want to imagine my. I don't want my childhood to be ruined. Oh, uh, that's. No, everyone slanders uh, Ariel too, and I do get why for like a story perspective. But honestly, it was really fun. Like it was a fun movie, ignoring or Ariel oh. one. I think they're gonna like do a live action of it. Yeah. I have it's seen like... pictures, and they look terrifying. Yep. No, there's a whole bunch of conservatives freaking out because they made Ariel black. Even Not though even, they only like, like slightly browner. And the thing is, they only decided who to play Ariel because the fact that the actress had an amazing singing voice. They didn't really give a fuck. They just wanted someone that could sing, and the actress could sing. And honestly, honestly, she looks she 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 works as Ariel. She can sing. That's cool. And it was never declared in like the written story that Ariel was white. No, I think of course, she was green wasn't. originally. Yeah, like, in the earliest versions, she would have been green, yeah. And also, then, originally, the story was about a, 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 a gay dude longing for a gay lover, but it didn't work. And so he was sad, and so he wrote Ariel. And the original story of Ariel was actually really fucking depressing. Yeah. Besides so that, that, um... Yeah. Along with that, uh... The, the thing that I tend to point out to people is... From what we can tell... The origin of mermaid myths is from the Mediterraneans, where people were pretty fucking brown. Yeah. Yeah. Not only that, she's a fish. Fish go yeah. everywhere. She is an ocean fish. Fish in the ocean go everywhere. Like, yeah, the hell. The ocean connects everything. Yeah, like, hell, if we're going to, like, talk, like, anatomically accurate mermaids, like, if we're talking, like, you know, basing it on uh other marine mammals oh. uh well one she'd probably be thick as fuck mm -hmm. she like she, it literally they, it's like, literally the case like she'd they she would have like mermaids would almost certainly have a thick layer of blubber mm -hmm. 
especially if they're like especially as you get further up into the arctic um they probably would have a decent handful of adaptations that look very disturbing to us such as more distorted faces for seeing underwater better and more keen ears and smell to handle sensing stuff underwater what comes says better. cute cute <laughs> That's actually something I, I, I will mention. I really appreciate it when you have, like, uh, I can't talk about media that actually depicts mermaids to be more chubby. To be mermaids, yes. Oh, I yeah. love chubby mermaids. Oh, Hatchet, I think there's something that you, I think you'll like that I think I'll read whenever Child's not present on Horror Story streams. Uh, mm -hmm. I got a book that I found while well, still looking for book 10. I still haven't found it. Looking for, uh, yeah. I'll look after when the subathon's over. But uh, basically, uh, I found a book that contains as close as possible to the original Grimm stories. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, that'll be interesting. I haven't read all of them in a long while and it's like pretty thick book like it's really big <laughs> oh yeah they they're, they're pretty thick like like most of them are fairly uh sort of kind of in the modern day kid friendly up until like a handful of moments sleeping right. beauty in particular is like probably the worst one i know of oh yeah sleeping beauty is one. oh god it's so fucked yeah, I remember um, reading that when I was 11. Uh, have I mentioned Rumpelstiltskin, like, the actual oh, way that it plays out? Yes. Doesn't he get split in half? Yeah, like, it's it's literally exactly how you remember Rumpelstiltskin, mm -hmm. except at the end, it's it's either he, st like, he stomps so hard that he falls, like, halfway through the floor and gets bisected, or he literally rips himself in half out of frustration. It's one of those I, two. I can't yeah, remember he which. Totally lives. I'm pretty sure it's, he stomps on the ground so hard he he splits him himself in half. Yeah. He totally that's lives. That's the only one I've heard of. He's just no, in I, half. No. No, he's... I guess you could say he's half no. a man. <laughs> I mean, I already... W oh, God. Now, he, he was already a really short dude. Now he's like half of a short dude. No one's going to want to be his friend. <laughs> he's a third of a man. Oh God! Wouldn't that be a quarter? No, that would be a quarter. Yeah, yeah that, that would be a quarter. quarter. Come oh, on, yeah, dude. Oh quarter, man. God damn it! It's like midnight. Okay, get, get, cut, cut me some. There's play. just two of him no. now. Yeah, there's just two <laughs> That's of him. Now. He's been cloned. <laughs> one's named Rumpel, and the other named Skin. And the other name is Skin. <laughs> no, one's named Rumpel, and the other names, and the other one's named. <laughs> Because Rumpel got all of the side of the brain that processes speech. <laughs> I like to imagine that they move around like Ekans does. Oh god. <laughs> it's just <laughs> blither about. Okay, so that leaves a question. Do they slither on their cut up raw side or on their skin? Because both of those are off water. The raw side, at least. It's like it's like a snail. It, it, it leaves yeah. a trail of goo. It's a snail trail of blood and viscera. <laughs> Either that, or they they slither around, and you can see everything inside them. Oh God. There's no good options here. I think I'll go with the latter, so that the janitor doesn't have as much work to do. <laughs> no, no, I no, 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 no. You see, he after he split himself in half. The side that can process speech and process the things going on around him decided to marry some a, marry a janitor, and the janitor just goes behind him every day and just cleans up the mess that he makes, and they are in love. This is an awful story. <laughs> this hurts my brain. You're talking oh, to someone right who back. writes fan fiction. Of course, I'm gonna turn a fucking situation it. into something cutesy and romantic. God damn it, where is my green apple boy? I want my green apple boy. Give me my green apple boy. One named please. Rumpel, other named Skin, and both walk on stilts. 
Okay, I support that. I support that. That's a very that's a that's that's an ab that's a very green good boy, one. I like boy, that. Green boy, chant green boy for me. Green boy, green boy, green boy, green boy, green boy, green boy. God damn it, hey, where's the chanting? Bright. Hey bright. Why do I feel like I'm gonna be muted? Hello? Hello? Oh. Yeah. Um. I don't have my headphones. I lost my headphones. I can't hear uh -oh. you. What a fucking idiot. Fuck. Headphones! Please! Hey, right. We're Stop. mocking you. <laughs> I can't hear a word you're saying. We're mocking you, Bright. Wait, she knows when Stop we're talking. Stop caught she... on everything, you piece of shit. Yeah. Okay, I can hear you now. We, we weren't mocking you. Nice. We, yeah, we said really nice things to you. Yeah, we, we were, like, complimenting you to the high heavens. Okay, yeah. so I decided to try and get that book, but I think one of my... Uh, my parents are borrowing it for a moment. However, I do have a book that's called Jeffrey Archer, The Collected Short Stories. And it's just oh. a, a bunch of stories, a, a bunch of horror stories that have been collected. That are old. Like, this book is really old. I, uh, I see. Alright, so, give me, give me another shark to look up. Let's see if I... <laughs> uh... Oh, I see a, I, de I see some stories that can't be right, just shark. by their names. Lava shark, lava shark. A lava shark? What the fuck's it's a lava not... shark? Look it up. I'm pretty sure it's a thing. I, I'm not fucking with you. I am pretty sure it is a thing. Bookworm I started... added you that guys. That is by not the way. a thing. It's not. Okay, the thing no, that there you're are probably... sharks that live near like, uh, under, yeah. like, underwater. Shark boy, and lava yeah, girl. <laughs> yeah, there is like. I think one specific like submer submarine submerged volcano where like when it's not in the middle of erupting a whole bunch of fish live inside of it but most of those fish are other recognized species there's no specific species that we've observed there and as far as I know so something else right give how about you give me a shark? Thresher shark. They haven't added a thresher. What the fuck is wrong with me? You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> I only know that shark because you say it all. And Cars Against Humanity. <laughs> they, they are my favorite shark. They're so fucking cool. <laughs> That's the only way I remember. <laughs> that, and they're so derpy looking. Cool. Like the, they're cool. Like they both, they have two things that I love. They have a cool adaptation, and from the right angle, they look so fucking derpy. I feel like well, everyone at a certain angle looks really derpy. So now I just realize I don't have to go on Kripposawiki and search for stories after I read. After I read mine, I literally have two books I can just pick up story from. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't worry. Yeah. Which is one, which is the Grim stories, which is, yeah, that's something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'd like to. Let me see if I can find a good image of what I'm thinking. Like, uh, child thresher sharks. If you don't know, just straight up have like the colon, uh, like the capital D colon face, like oh. the, like like the sad face. But they also have a tail that is, uh, like, two-thirds of their entire body length. And they use it like a whip to stun fish. They will swim super fast, and then whip fish with their tails, and then eat the fish while they're knocked out. Yeah, yeah um, there's the boy. Yeah, there's one thing <laughs> I want to remember about the... That I remember about Grim fairy tales i do know this parent who said oh it's a good idea to tell the original stories to <laughs> your five-year-old child 
You do, you oh. lady, you have not read the original stories. No, you are so not. it is okay to tell the original stories to me who is not five years old? No. Yeah, th there are some that are iffy. Like, mo like, a decent handful of them are, like, just, like, weird sudden moments of really fucked up old-timey logic and gore. Like, actually come to think of it, like, the most fucked up thing in my mind of Ruppled Stiltskin is the fact that it's, like, based upon old-timey logic where a woman's entire value was the children that they she could have. Mm -hmm. Like, that's fucked up. And then it's just like out of nowhere, here comes Rumpled Stiltskin ripped in half. Yeah, but mm -hmm. like the 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 fucking Sleeping Beauty. Oh yeah. Uh, I guess I guess that's the thing. Like we could tell them while the child's here, because they don't actually go into detail on the eighteen plus bits. Mm-hmm. It's just made very clear by context. So, uh, here, let me put it this way. Uh, content warning to literally, potentially anybody who has triggers surrounding SA. Uh, child, you know how, you know how Sleeping Beauty, like she's, she's the beauty and she's sleeping, right? You had many children in our sleep, I know. Yeah, that. Oh, okay. I wasn't sure mm -hmm. if you knew. I, I know. Okay. Doesn't doesn't he die at the end? I forget. Or I, do... I don't remember. It's been so long ago, and honestly, partially, I've just blocked out the memory. Why is there a scantily clad woman on a motorcycle on Pinterest when I searched for thresher sharks? <laughs> I don't what? want hot women. I want sharks. I don't need woman. I want shark. Someone please turn that into a quote, please. Actually, I feel like that is a quote, but it's like something about fish and not women. Uh, not women. God damn it, sharks. Instead of sharks, it's fish. You know what? I'll I'll go do that for myself. Yeah. I need someone to turn that into a t-shirt. <laughs> I don't need women. All I need is shark. Yeah, I'm definitely seeing how... Um, like, Coco was the best starter to choose... Uh, statistically, yeah. because like mine's already at 74. 74. Well, that's definitely partially thanks to that. Just, uh, that's probably partially just, uh, um, thanks to, um, God, my brain fucking hurts. We can tell. What were we talking? Oh yeah, that's probably just due to the way that you were leveling him up. Mm -hmm. Like you were like using, like had him in your party more than any other Pokemon. Wait, what about a bright merch idea? What do you mean? The What's shark quote should be in, in bright merch. Yeah, I don't need women. I only need shark. How would it have anything to do with me or my character? Okay, here's punch, here's a, pun, a shark punching organization. Okay, here's the real here's real talk. If I ever split off and make my own YouTube channel and get big, I will make that shirt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or right, so... I could steal the idea, be like Elon Musk, and make my own merch and make millions. And then I out you on. Well, I was gonna say Twitter, but that won't work for long. <laughs> Tumblr. Probably. And then you'll out me on Facebook, which I don't oh, uh, know. Oh, well, so says tell Chew to stream now. We gotta change that to tell Hatchet to stream. No. Yes. Actually, wait a minute. Uh, Bookworm, can you entertain the chat real quick? What? I wouldn't even stream. My main I. Uh. Like, I wouldn't even stream. My main idea is, like, primarily focusing on video essays on YouTube. Alright. I do. Stir. Stir. Don't need. Woman. Stir. 
Harpster. I need shark. Mead. Shork. Okay, well. 96 apples done. Actually, over 96. Almost in the 100s by now. Alright, so and it should be changed no now. Let's see if it was changed. <laughs> it's changed. I changed the chew thing. Yeah, I saw. A Dern is probably gonna be confused as hell the second they see that. <laughs> We're like, wait, what? <laughs> yeah, like I really have no interest in running my own stream because I'm not confident I could effectively do it like with my computer. Uh, but like I have like played around with the thoughts thought of like making a video essay YouTube it generally just talks about like little dumbass things that I'm thinking about philosophy uh, media analysis a bunch like, of bullshit no Hatchet if you actually start to do like horror story videos I'm all for for free to do uh, horror mon uh, monster voices or stuff like that Cause you know I'm good at that. Okay. I'm, I'm, all, I'm all for it. <laughs> all right. I highly doubt that I would though. Yeah, and it's only if you do. Because confused, but I think they agree. What? Are you, what? Uh, when I said Adorno will be confused about oh. <laughs> about the YouTube channel. <laughs> you know, the second they see that, they're probably gonna start bullying you into doing it. Whatever. <laughs> they did it with you. They're probably gonna do it with you. As your butt buddy, I will me. warn you. <laughs> What'd you say? I said, as your butt buddy, I will warn you. Again, you cut out. I, as your butt buddy, I will warn you. Fuck you, Discord. Uh, I hate Discord. We can tell. Well, Discord hates you, too. That much is obvious. <laughs> oh, wow, you pick up my laughter perfectly. Perfectly, but not my voice. <laughs> Fuck you. Mate, have you ever thought that maybe they think your voice is background sound? Most likely. Which is really funny. Maybe they'll hear me better if I speak like this. Oh, Jesus This is Christ. awful. Get away from the mic now, you fucking plebeian. <laughs> you fucking... I moved, I, moved my, I moved my mic a bit closer. Can I still be heard? Yeah, that sounds a bit better. Okay. Are you a bureaucrat? Bureaucrat. Are you a burrow cat? <laughs> a burrow cat. Are we gonna forcibly cat girl bright? I do have a cat ears and a cat tail, we'll say it that. Oh god, Bright, just stop bringing that up. <laughs> stop. Cease. Do I want to know what the cattail is? No. Uh, think, think about memes relating to tails. <laughs> bookworm. Oh. Um, oh. Oh. <laughs> it's a <yeah>. bookworm. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I didn't buy it. Yeah, better eat. Yeah. Things like things that have to do with tails that are 18 plus i did not It'll buy it, it out. yeah what was it that someone just randomly sent it to you in the mail yeah so weird <laughs> they just wanted their own cat girl <laughs> oh. Sometimes I wake up in the morning and think, I wish I didn't wake up in the morning. Yeah, there was actually something else that I didn't take. I dumped them. But, um, there was, uh, the package the next day. That was from, I assume the same person, but it was just a box that had a bottle of 
unregulated F FDA not not approved um breast enhancement pill uh breast pills we'll put it at that that is supposedly make them bigger I'm, yeah I'm not I'm not taking random pills in the mail I'm I'm starting to think this person thought they were sending this to someone else yeah I think they put the wrong address yeah this sounds like a terrible gives weird chaser vibes yeah yeah Chasers are the worst fucking people known to man. Well, Nazis exist, but it's just, they, true, but true. but those those two things also have a scary amount of overlap. So, uh, what's a chaser? Let's say you, that what do you mean chaser? What? Chaser oh. is someone who specifically fetishizes transness and trans oh. people and chases after relationships with trans people specifically thanks to that fetishization. And they're specifically not trans themselves. Yeah, oh. specifically they're not trans. Like they, they, it's it's the cis dudes that are obsessed with trying to get with a trans girl. I've seen um, manga like that. I'm not gonna say the actual. I'm not gonna say the actual word. Well. Well. I mean body. Yeah. I mean well. <laughs> <laughs> you can't deny it. That does exist. <laughs> Body swap is an interesting genre of just anime in general. Oh, I wasn't thinking of body swap. Yeah. Well, Camp? the bright I mean... wasn't thinking of it either, but it's where my brain went. Or I should say gender swap. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Uh, Campfer is one of them. Oh, is it? It's a bracelet that literally turns a man to a woman. I would think that oh, would yeah. be gender swap. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. <laughs> Shut up. I don't remember. I don't remember these things. I don't remember animes that I don't watch. Yeah. At the very least, very well. There's actually one thing I'm glad. Hold on. I gotta go get the name for it because I forgot its name. I gotta go to Funimation, wherever I put the fu fucking Funimation app. There it is. I have nothing organized on my damn phone. I really should organize it. Uh, uh, oh, as all yeah. things should be. Like, Bright does everything misorganized. Anyway, there's, it's this, organized. there's this anime that, that I apparently found out that is on Funimation, and I'm glad it is. Because I remember seeing it on a... Well, let's just say you don't pay to see the an English dub website. Oh. Yeah, uh, it was Pony Pony Dash, and I found it extremely hilarious. Oh, I know that one. Pony Pony Dash. Never it heard is, of it. It is, is like you're taking a drug trip, but it is hilarious as hell. <laughs> Isn't is, aren't they like uh, high school like yeah. horse girls? Yeah. Yeah, and wait, no, oh. what? No, not the horse girl. What the fuck are you talking about? Or centaurs? Centaurs? No. Well, I have oh. seen I have seen like an anime along, along those lines that I've been meaning to watch. Hold on, I'll I'll get a trailer. <laughs> Obviously, neither of you know what I'm talking about. I doubt you'll know what I'm talking about because this is an old anime. Yeah, the anime I'm thinking about probably came out, like, one of the seasons two years ago. I would like to say, while y'all are discussing this, I, on the uh, grass-type gym town, I am releasing a fuck ton of Applin. Oh, dear like, God. Like 90 this, Applin at once. Is this what you, is this what you were intended? Were you intending to, like, breed this endemic species to, okay. to the point of it almost becoming an invasive species? It's actually what happened to Lapras. Lapras was a rare Pokemon, but it got bred so much uh, and released so much into okay. the wild canonically uh, that it became, like, it, it wasn't endangered anymore. Now it's just probably incredibly inbred. Well, yeah. It's 
like a cheetah situation. Yeah. Now send or you both a picture or a in the video situation. itself yeah. of, of a trailer, not the actual anime, because that would be bad if I did that. I could get in trouble, and I'm not doing that. Oh yeah, Penguin, did you see the picture of a thresher shark I sent you? Uh, fuck, I didn't check. One moment. I, I'm just releasing all my apples. I'm causing a epidemic. I, I really like the anime. Apple-demic. It <laughs> mainly because it constantly breaks the fourth wall in some episodes. Oh, okay. It's is meant to be weird as hell, oh, but super he's a hilarious. Boy. It. Yeah. Yeah. It is. Oh, that is not the one I was thinking of. Yeah, I could tell. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Thresher Shark has been created. I I want to do at least one more card before oh, you know stream what? ends. I'll send it to book one too. I'm not an ending. I'm not ending stream. What the hell are you talking about? Or you know what I mean? Uh, when you get off. <laughs> God damn it! I'm gonna end up saying that every single time. You know what I mean? No. So I need one more shark. No. Fuck you, child. Chokehold <laughs> shark. Ch um... I guess I'll look up to see if that exists, but I Types doubt it. Types of sharks. Oh, that's cheating. Whale shark, megalodon, and tiger shark. You did this again. <laughs> it's um, the exact same thing. Uh, it's okay. So when I search silky shark, shark, silky shark, silky shark. Oh, those are boring. But okay. Horn shark, horn shark. Okay, I can go with Horn Shark. Didn't you already do that? Horn one? Sharks are cool. No, no, no. I was just mentioning them because they're uh, a type of carpet shark. Ah. Uh. Shark. Horn Sharks are actually really cute. They kind of have like this really grumpy looking face, with like a like really distinct eyebrow ridge or eye ridges. Yeah. To be on I want it to be on... They're, no, they're not... What am I thinking? They ain't carpet sharks, they're bullhead sharks. They're so... Oh man. Almost all of the sharks in this family are really fucking cute. Now, I want to add more than just a horned shark. My god. Yeah, he's... Oh, what the fuck? What? What the fuck is going on? Ooh. Oh, Bob Lanks. Oh, come on. What? Fucking name. You don't like oh, Bob the Pokemon. <laughs> right, what were you going to oh, come on to? Nothing. Alright then. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess I'm gonna save Horn Shark for tomorrow. I have like three Wikipedia links open because like like there are three different genuses of sharks that I think are all really cute and I'll probably do the same thing as I did with uh um cat sharks. And just kind of like pick a sampling of my favorites out of it. So I think instead of that, I'll just stop asking for your suggestions and just do a tiger shark. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm on my last egg for the night for a shiny Aplin. Uh, do you think it's going to be shiny or no? No. 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 I think there is there is a chance because technically I've, I'm already a hundred more than a hundred in like a hundred thirty ish in, so it there is it's 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 very possible. But it's also the last egg of the night, so I have a lead out. But maybe my apple boy will not disappoint me, like my I am to my parent. 
Or Earth Damn. Giver, I guess. It's well, not a shiny. Goddamn. Also, no I'm green sorry. boy. I decided to save the breadsticks that came with the pizza for tomorrow. That way I have two meals tomorrow. Mm -hmm. One for breakfast Thanks. and one for dinner. I'll skip lunch again. <laughs> Yay, capitalism. You know what? I'll keep this apple. Capitalism is hell. I think it should be broken up and not exist anymore. But broken up slowly that so the world doesn't fucking collapse because it's been so used to capitalism of beating its ass that it's just become dependent on it and if it just got rid of it in a millisecond it would just collapse yeah. the world. Yeah, that's true, but at least it's two meals. Mm. Pizza good. Yeah, it was Papa John's pizza. I will say, it did taste different now than it did when I was younger. They've changed the recipe. Yeah, I, I could notice. I could definitely notice. I mean, it was still good. I still ate it. I ate all of it. But, like, still, I can very well t notice it was changed. Oh, there's a sickle fin lemon shark. Based. Communist shark? A commie shark. <laughs> oh, blue sharks are all on their own in a genus. That makes me sad. There's a milk shark. <laughs> Can you milk it? No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I made an apple I, I guess the males when it's the right time. Oh my god. Brazilian sharp nose. I want Is it a mommy? Is this a I don't think it's that. Oh my god, he's so tiny! Oh my god! Mommy oh. milkers! No. No. Stop. This is bad. Go to your room. Cease. Cease. And desist. Desist. Oh. Okay, so tiger. Aw, uh, tiger sharks are also on their own in their own genus. Well, get them some uh, panthers, sharks, and puma sharks, and cheetah sharks. It's not how this works, Bright. <laughs> Go to your I don't room. Know, I don't think Bright knows how anything works. Lion sharks. It's no, stop. <laughs> stop. Stop proposing fictional sharks. <laughs> How do you know Lion Shark doesn't exist? Okay, I think let me... it might actually exist. Lion Shark. It's, it's literally a meme. Aww. Lion Sharks are fearsome aquatic creatures renowned for the difficult involved difficult involved in catching them to catch a large lion shark is the mark of an experienced fisherman they mostly inhabit the sea around el nido trigo and what follows it is a poorly photoshopped uh image of what looks to be a shark with fur on it <laughs> That's literally the only thing that actually says lion shark. Wow. Who is strong? Who is stronger, lion or shark? Okay, put a put 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 a lion in the water. Almost any large shark will kill it. Mm -hmm. Can a sea lion beat a shark? How is it beating it? And what kind of shark? God damn it! Why are people stupid? Also, okay, wait a minute. What if you put, put the shark, shark on, on land? land? Yeah. Oh dear God! What are you people saying? The shark will lose if the shark's on land. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean that's true. But do you know how heavy a shark is? No. Not very. Not it's very the... light. It's very light. No, they are extremely heavy. Like let me. Uh. Weight of average. White shark. 
Did you know I can and will bite and fight you? I dare they you They are to. 680 to 1,100 kilograms. We don't do metric system here. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> then, kg two pounds. <laughs> we'll like I'm gonna that. Just have to evolve this <laughs> Can I catch a most American statement? <laughs> Do you want to know what else is an American statement? You. Yeah. What? I don't know. <laughs> I, I quite literally know where you live. <laughs> then come over here, Dan. I dare you. No. Okay, uh... The max weight suggested there, uh... 1,100 kilograms is about 2,425 pounds. Ah. What's that metric yeah. now again? I I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> someday, someday, right, you will wake up <laughs> and there will be shit in your lungs. Well, oh, oh, you are into. Oh. That's weird. How are you going to get into our house? That's a good question for future me. <laughs> it's just out of nowhere. I just just gonna give you the keys to her house. Maybe. I just like right. Were you still thinking about making a creator house? <laughs> yeah. Eventually, if then I if even we ever... get enough money, then it... then if we make a creator house, I will someday force shit into your lungs. The only thing I know about the creator house is that we're not. I'm not gonna force anyone to be in videos. Or pro I probably won't even do vlog shit. Cause I haven't yeah. even done my- I haven't even uploaded my first vlog thing. The vlog thing with the dog. I haven't you even haven't done it yet. Even, you haven't even uploaded a video with your face in it. I told you, I don't- I really don't feel comfortable showing my face yet. I know. Uh, yeah. But Penguin is just yeah. giving another example as to why it's less likely. Also, fucking- if I had to be honest, of all the sharks that I know of, tiger sharks are probably the ones that I would be the most uncomfortable to be in the water with. All oh, my team is level 61. What about bull sharks? Bull sharks? Like, I would be more comfortable around a bull shark. Because bull, like, bull sharks, like most other sharks, when they bite, it's either a, like, a sample bite to, like, just test things out because they're curious. Or they're mistaking you for a food source. Tiger sharks, they will try to eat anything. They don't give a shit. Like, tiger sharks have been found with car tires in their stomachs. Like, oh. they, just, been... they just... They just eat and eat and eat and eat and eat. I've also been found uh, with a car tire in my stomach. What? I may that's... be a bull shark. You mean a tiger shark? Tiger shark. God damn it, child. Fuck you. <laughs> but yeah, like, with a bull shark, if they bite me, I probably was dumb, or they were curious. A tiger shark, if they bite me, there's a decent likelihood that they literally just will were trying to eat me. Because they will eat literally anything they can. I think you were a yum 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 yum. Exactly. They're still good boys. We shouldn't be, like, demonizing them. But I'm just saying that of all the sharks, they would be the ones I'm most uncomfortable in the water with. My po Okay, so Grand Inferno is probably going to be at level 80 by the time Eris gets to level 55. Oh my Pokemon are at level, uh, 61. How the fuck are your, all your Pokemon such different levels? 
I told you we got I got them at different times and one of them was a trade over which is a pseudo legendary and they take a shit ton of experience to level up. Okay, the pseudo legendary makes sense, but the others like they shouldn't take that long to level up. Well, they are. Get over it. Okay. Here's here's the simplest explanation. Bright's not very good at Pokémon. Oh fuck yeah, that's you. A good I'm joking. No, it is a good explanation. I managed to complete an entire Pokédex within a month and a week. You counted? Yes. Because I had to do it for Damn. a school project. I had to do it for a school project. You did it for a school project? Yeah, we... we it was like during... Uh, we had to choose a, a life goal and they let me do that. Like, complete a full Pokédex. That is one of the sickest school projects I yeah. can think of. That's just like, like in a really dumb, fun little way. It's kind of like how, like at one point, uh, um, I was taking an accounting class, and in hindsight, uh, my teacher was a massive capitalist shill, but of course it's an economics class, um, and uh, my teacher at one point asked us to, uh, like do a ledger of an actual per like an actual handful of purchases we do and i thought i don't have fucking money so i did a ledger for my spending in gta online <laughs> and oh he was thrilled when i handed it in he thought it was so fun and creative for me to just like take take the concept say i don't make money I don't have money. I'm just going to do something else that is still within the assignment's parameters. I think I got the highest score of everyone in the class. How much money did you spend in GTA? Uh, let's see. It was the first time I bought a Hydra Jet, so I think, like, like I had, like, s like six or seven transactions of varying amounts of income, and then, like, two, like, one, two million or so, uh expenditure and then one three million or so expenditure wow big big money big numbers and uh yeah he loved it like i remember liking him because he was really cool but i also you know you now looking back he was a you know capitalist still although he was also really cool with the fact that at one point uh we had this, I think I've told this story before. My high school, t uh, or my history teacher uh, started this tradition of doing like Halloween history balls where everyone would do a project on a particular historical figure and mm -hmm. dress up as them and go around and interview other historical figures. It was really fun. Uh, and Please don't tell me the... anyone dressed like, uh, like an Indian and they're white. You know what? I can't remember. <laughs> Please that might have happened. Me. Oh dear That may God. or may not have happened. I know that one like guy in my class that was a real dickhead dressed up as Gandhi, which really made me laugh my ass off. Because yeah. the dickhead dressed up as Gandhi. He didn't do blackface though. Oh thank if, God. If you're curious, he wasn't he wasn't darkening his skin. Actually, he kind of had the perfect skin tone to kind See, of pull it off. Did you know off. Gandhi was actually a giant asshole? Nah, yeah, probably. But anyway, point being, uh, on our final time uh, doing that, I dressed up as Karl Marx, and my close Which friend way it came from. And my close friend, uh, Verney slash Forte, dressed up as a young uh, Richard Engels, and then we had our accounting class. And uh, my accounting teacher had mentioned that he was about to throw out this old pumpkin. So uh, we asked, can we, can we seize your pumpkin? We took a Sharpie marker and wrote the means of production on the side of the pumpkin. So we seized the means of production. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, that's kind of funny. It was, it was, it was a grand old time. And he was all for it. He was having a lot of fun with us. 
God damn it, my game crashed. Good. No maybe maybe it had maybe maybe it had a lot of maybe it was just having taking issue with the severe Pokemon rights violations you were committing. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. It seems like Gardevoir is really easy to level up. Uh, really easy to level up, which is good. Oh, I thought you were about to say Gardevoir is really easy to breathe. Jesus Christ. I mean, I'm. Yeah, and I humans. mean, based upon certain sections of the inter internet, I guess you're not yeah. wrong. You know what I said next, Hatcher? What? I said, yeah, with humans. Oh, God. Oh, God. I mean, am I wrong? Well, no. But still, <laughs> oh, God. The child's here. Well, I didn't go further. But at this point, why are we concerned? The child's over here, like, mass-producing fucking sentient apples. <laughs> oh god, when was the last time my game back up to? Oh dear god, dragon. Oh fuck, did I fuck up? Oh no! <laughs> I mean, everything you did. Oh, here's a question. What if you. Oh no, no, I didn't. What, I'm good. what if the last backup save was like right before you opened all your eggs? Do they oh, already. All my eggs are gone. All my eggs are gone. They're fine. But no, like, I'm asking like a hypothetical. If that was to happen, would it be made so that, uh, like, like with every opening, does it re-roll, or would you already have it, like, would it already be completely set as to whether or not those were shinies? I think it would already have been set. I, but also, uh, yeah, I think I'm good. It's I just think like it depends one... on when you save, if it'll re-roll. Mm. Interesting. Oh, yeah, just one or two of my Pokemon are just, like, a level weaker than they were for whatever reason. That's fine. Yeah, it's just a dumb little, like, game the system thing I thought of there. Yeah, because I know in other games, like, it, it just depends on when you save. Like, as long as you don't pick them up, you can continue re-rolling them. Actually, let me check my Pokédex to make sure everything's I am okay. going to... Uh... No. Fuck you. <laughs> I am going to make the name of my tiger shark be made with black and yellow or black and orange stripes. Oh dear God, bookworm. <laughs> what did bookworm say? I'm still having issues with my thing. Did you know that if a Porygon is the best Pokemon in terms of human oh God, compatibility? No. God damn it! No, not that. I Please. That joke. <laughs> that joke is so annoying. <laughs> oh. Okay, I think everything, everything's fine. Look for why. I can't misspell tiger, did I? Yes. I'm not pulling a dumb. Shut your face. <laughs> Love you, Hatchet. Go burn in a ditch. That's a good way to say love you. <laughs> That's how my parents say love you. <laughs> Fuck, I type in tiger and the first link that pops up is a link that is like www.flyingtiger.com. What? Tiger. And then the tiger. thing is Flying Tiger Copenhagen Shop Online. Oh, right. I have I, my, my Opera's VPN probably. No, it's saying I'm in the... Where is Copenhagen? That sounds... <sighs> You know what? I don't think I care. To potential viewers who are living is. in Copenhagen, wherever that is, um, fuck you. <laughs> well, watch me like the city right next to you. <laughs> wait, okay, wait. Let me see. Because is my fire cadet... I, I think... I don't know how much process okay yeah my fire cadet is leveled not leveled uh evolved so i'm not that i didn't lose that much all the eggs are gone so that's good i tried to send the full copy of pasta but twitch wouldn't let me send more than 500 characters Whoa. oh god but oh, the well. <laughs> but the okay never mind i think i lost all the progress i did oh copenhagen oh, is in denmark 
Okay, yeah. Then why is it? Why is it putting me in Copenhagen? Why is it? Why is it giving me something related to Copenhagen? It says that I'm in the <laughs> Americas. Actually, I think it's specific. Wait, I actually come to think of it. Let me look at it again. I think it specifically said that I'm in Florida. Copenhagen, Florida. Oh, I think I just they lost all the progress socialist. with all the. Yeah, the I egg. think. I, I think the it. IP address I'm at is in Florida. So, uh, Penguin, what you doing? Uh, How you doing? <laughs> I just lost like a few hours of work on Pokemon. Good job. Oh. Loading oh, the backup no. save. No, because the backup save is supposed to be recent stuff. It's not supposed to be like an hour or two back. That's weird. Because my Only... my I I figured it out because my uh, my egg for the uh, the Lechonk isn't hatched anymore. Alright, so it's an egg I want to kill three more Lux Rings, then I'm going to go to bed. Okay. It was only like a few hours of work. I'll just like get all those eggs back and rehatch them. It's fine. So that's one. Two. Lux Rings give you a lot of experience. I'm yeah. remember to get back on here and upload these pictures here soon. Uh, child, just because you are here, I feel like you would appreciate it. I shall send you every image that I've made today. Yippee! No, not you, Flinks. Fuck off, Flinks. Oh, I have exactly ten base, like, nameplate cards. And three. Which is the image send limit so there's all the base nameplate cards i've made uh i think i think everything's fine uh, besides losing all the egg progress i didn't lose anything too major and the second post i'm doing are the two memes i've made i swear if i get fucking if i fucking crash right now and nothing is saved, I'm gonna be one pissed motherfucker. Well, the, I saved after hatching all the eggs, so I should have just I should have just continued from the no, save because it was only me. like 30 minutes ago. I'm talking about me. But yeah, but you have auto save on. I don't. Oh, then you're a dumbass. Why well, don't I you did, have auto save I, on? Because I don't like auto save, and not only that, I I also did save after the, hatching all the eggs, so I should have just loaded from there. But the thing is, auto uh, the backup save is supposed to be like more recent, so it's weird that it was like an hour or two ago. Instead of recent, it goes fuck you. Because it's supposed to be backup save is supposed to be better than a uh, auto save because it's like the most recent, not like oh it's saved every five minutes. And that's the third rocks ray. Wait, right, rocks. Keep... Oh. Rocks ray. <laughs> right, you keep you keep questioning why your your crocodile is so high level and yet. Every time I look up at the screen, that's the one you're using. That's because probably... it's so high level. <laughs> oh yeah, but you could, like, if you want to focus on leveling specific Pokemon, why don't you use those Pokemon? Because nothing in this area is good for Gardevoir kill. Like, she won't one-shot oh, everything, like Grand Inferno will. <laughs> well, you well, have to okay. one-shot everything. Okay, one, if it's a little harder, so be it, it's a little harder. And two... If you want it to be easier, then go to a different area. <laughs> like, yeah, there are it's many that areas hard. that have like level fifty Pokemon and shit. <laughs> I'm looking at Grand Inferno right now. They're level seventy eight. God damn! Like, why? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm starting to realize. I think a lot of the Pokemon I uh, kill have been dropping HP I IVs. If you know what that is, Hatchet. Yeah. Yeah, because I don't think I'm supposed to have this high of an HP at this level. From what I've looked at stats, it's usually not supposed to be this high at this level. Which means I've been killing a lot of HP ones, so I've been gaining a lot of HP. I see. Wait, wait, IV actually... comes with your po oh, EV. Not IV. EV. I why, why did I say IV? I don't know. Thanks, Bookworm. 
But yeah, uh, Penguin, I have sent all of the images I made during the, like, almost 12 fucking hours I've been in the stream. Thank you. Also, Bright is 1 o'clock. I just re learned the difference recently from po from a PokeTuber. That's fair. I'm also kind of disappointed because thanks to the way that these streams go, I'm a bit more distracted than I'd like to be. I should have been able to get at least 20 of these out there. But, meh. Whatever. I hope you appreciate it.